It is important to learn from our mistake, and this video is a reminder of the common mistakes we do during installations. There is our small mistakes and bigger ones that will kind of affect your whole setup. You might buy the most expensive cameras with AI and big security, nice resolution, but if you did this mistakes, well, you cut the efficiency by half. So was it really worth it? Not that much. So we're gonna cover five common mistakes that we can do during security installation. Let's get to it. When getting a video surveillance system, reading before buying is essential. Some people just think that because this brand and this brand are on the same website, they work together. You have to make sure that if you buy an NVR and a camera, that the NVR can support the AI tools that is on the camera. And same thing goes for the resolution. You might need a 4K NVR to work with a 4K camera. So be sure you read the data sheet before buying anything. All the details are on there and you need to use them to your advantage. Mistake number two, the camera placement. And this is a big one. If you've never done that before, you may think it's easy to install a camera. But is it too high? Is it too low? Is it close to a wall? Every camera has a lens that have a specific field of view. If you put a camera too close to a wall, well, you're, you're having a blind spot right there because the angle goes straight into the wall. So th these are the things you need to keep in mind and also because you need to cover every angle when you're doing an installation. You don't want any blind spot in your project. So make sure you know exactly what you're doing by again looking at the data sheet and reviewing the good field of view for your camera placement. Mistake number three, choosing the network bandwidth for your NVR. So having a net good network bandwidth will affect your, your camera. You, you need a good one for them to work properly or else you're buying a 4K camera, but you don't have the right network bandwidth on your NVR. Well, your camera may switch by itself to the substream because you cannot support this image quality. And this will also affect your frame rates. It will affect uh, the quality of the image. It will occur some lag on the image. So make sure you again, look at the data sheet and make sure that the NVR you're getting for your cameras has the proper network bandwidth. Mistake number four, and this is a big one, long distance cable. You wanna do a big installation, you get yourself long wires and you're sure it's gonna work? Uh-uh, not always. When you're talking IP cameras and an NVR, the Cat5, Cat5 Cat6 can go up to 100 meters, which is three, 358 feet. So yes, it's long, but if you go more than that, your camera won't work efficiently. So choose maybe having a network repeater on there. You can get yourself also, I know there are fiber optic. If you buy an adapter, this will help you have longer cable distance for your installation. Mistake number five, storage space. This one again, a big mistake that we all did in the past. We get ourselves cameras, we buy a one terabyte storage and we're eh, done. False, because every camera we buy have different resolution. They have maybe some AI on them and they require more storage. We did a video about this one to how to calculate the right storage space. Go check it out but it's really important to do. And always get yourself a little bit more just in case something happens. So this way you don't have to go back on the project and redo the installation all over again, because well, eh, you made a mistake. And it's a common one, honestly. In short, read the data sheet. So reading before buying, having a good camera placement, looking for the distance cable, what is the network bandwidth on your NVR, and the storage space and we're gonna give you a bonus one just for just for this video having a project documentation this might seem like more work than what it gives you in return but honestly it's a big step in doing big projects because not only it shows a case study you did and all the information will be used by the end user this is kind of a safe space where if they go with another installer or if they want to do and call you back in a future project. Well, all the information is on there. They know what you bought in the, in the past. They know how you did your work. So it's a good way to show that you are a professional. All right, guys, so don't make those mistakes again. If you do, eh, they're human. We're not being replaced by AI yet, okay? Just kidding. But we'll see each other on the next video. 
If you are a professional security manufacturer and you would like us to review one of your product, do a tutorial video, or talk about different technologies that you have to offer, leave us a comment, send us an email, or visit us on our website, people.systems. All right, see you on the next one.